Hello, welcome to another video. It's about time I gave you guys a room tour. I get a lot of comments asking for one. So today, I've just done a deep clean, but let's get into the room tour. I don't think there's any better place to start than here. This is what you guys see all the time. This is where I record my videos. This is a nice little Carhartt chair, which I got from Size, I believe. It was on sale. It is called, I've still got the tags on it, actually. <laughs> what's it called? Where's the, where's the, what's it called? What's it called? It is called the Lumen Folding Chair. They do a longer chair as well, like a double person one, if you'd like that. Bit spenny for me, though. Mertra Mertra rug, standard. I love Mertra. They're the goats. Fits in with the color scheme of this section of my room really nicely. I can't complain. Now, plants. I love plants. I've got quite a few. This one here is a peace lily. Peace lilies are really, really good for your bedroom. They don't require too much care. And also, they don't require a lot of sunlight. So, they will deal with that winter weather, especially if your room doesn't have a lot of natural light like mine. This one here is also very, very, very good for low light bedrooms. This is a snake plant. You can get many different colorways of this. Colorways. <laughs> Not colorways. There are many, many different types of snake plants. That's what I'm trying to say. This is the one I got. I think that it goes really nicely with the scenery. And you've got the leafy ones, leafy ones, and a little bit of a different one in the middle. It's a very tough plant. I, I'd be impressed if someone could kill one of these. And a very, very nice pot as well to put it in. I love this one. These two are both from the watered garden up in Nottingham. Anytime I go to work up there, I always find myself stumbling into that shop and stumbling out with a couple of plants at least. Down here, we got a little fake cactus dude. I think mean, he's pretty cute. And obviously the Lego cars. If you guys have been watching my TikTok content for a while, you will have slowly seen me build up this collection of Lego cars. I absolutely love them. We got the Beamer set here and the Richard Mill McLaren here. Belter. This one was probably my well, one, one of my favorite ones to build. It was very, very enjoyable. Got to look like I'm intellectual, so we got some books down here. I think I've almost read all of these, actually, so that's not that bad. My favorite book out of this collection is Surrounded by Idiots. If you're interested in anything to do with human behavior, psychology, I definitely recommend checking this one out. It's very, very, very interesting. Scooching a bit further along, this unit here is from Amazon. It's not from Ikea. I think it was like 20, 30 quid, so really not that much. However, was a little bit of a pain to build, but can't complain. This one is from Dunelm. This is not actually a bed stand. It's a book stand, I believe. And my mum's had it for God knows how many years and I nicked it from her. So thank you, mum. I'm very tempted to see what it would look like if I painted it white, but I think that might be a little bit too much. I could not tell you for the life of me what this plant is called. I've had it for so, so, so long. It used to be so diddy and small, but now it's like a full grown tree. If I stand next to it, you can really get a sense of how big this guy is. He's an absolute unit. If you guys want some cool furniture, get yourself to Dunelm. Very, very underrated. Or you can always just look online. Places like Amazon, Ikea, Etsy, all really good for furniture. This is quite possibly my favorite part of my bedroom. And I'm sure you can understand why. I love everything about this whole setup here. I get quite a few questions on my record player setup. This is the Lenko LS300. It comes with two Lenko speakers, so they all match and the wood is the same, which I think is beautiful. If you don't have a record player, seriously look into buying one. They are absolutely amazing. Listening to music on them is different gravy, I'm telling you. A couple of coffee table books. First one we've got is the design book, which is at oh. which is actually a very, very cool book. It's got many, many different things like a rice cooker, chairs, calendars, book stands. There's a lot of stuff in here, and it's really cool just to get a little bit of inspiration when I'm trying to when I'm trying to do something. Next one is the journal from Heart Copy. If you're into your shoes, definitely look into buying this one. This covers a ridiculous amount of shoes and it's just a really, really cool book to flick through. There's over 300 pages of different shoes in here. It's set out really nicely. It's a really nice book to just have a look at and a flick through. Would defo recommend. Next up, the Lego at the back. We've got my Ford GT40. Incredible. Nothing more to say. Little fake plant here from Amazon. I don't have a problem with having fake plants. I've got a lot of real plants now. And a couple of fake ones just to fill in the little spots here and there do perfectly. Could not tell you what this plant is. I call her Big Shiny. Because she's pretty big and the leaves are shiny. That's self-explanatory. I've got my little jewellery dish, which is actually a vinyl, which I got sent. It's one of the first things I ever got gifted, which is really, really, really cool. It's a vinyl, which has been bent into a jewellery dish. So, yeah, this is, this is very, very, very cool. I like this a lot. And, obviously... Wally and Eva, because they're cracked. This is my little bits and bobs section. Obviously, among loads and loads of Lego cars, just keep some random bits and bobs down here, like some mugs that I don't use, and some photos. Love this area. I love my Lego cars a lot. <laughs> Next up, we got my little desk setup. Over there, I've got where I store my records. That is actually a magazine holder from the charity shop. I could not tell you where they originally got it from, but charity shop, 
seven quid. Absolute bargain. And then obviously the Porsche 911. Beautiful car, beautiful Lego set, amazing to build, very, very enjoyable. Got my PlayStation for when I occasionally sweat out some Rocket League and just hit GC. I'm pretty cracked. If you don't know, get to know. Couple more Lego cars back here, of course. I've got around 30 dotted around my room. My big terrarium, which I've had for ages now. Probably over two years I've had this bad boy for. And he's going well. He's going strong. I occasionally take the lid off to have a little bit of a smell. If you've never smelt a terrarium, I feel for you. It, they smell incredible. Imagine the Amazon rainforest on steroids. Amazing. Got my little sewing machine here. This is my 1968 Singer. Also founded a charity shop for 30 quid, which is an absolute bargain. That is ridiculously cheap. So lucky with that. She's beautiful, but I have to keep her turned off. The electronics on it aren't great which is expected for something that was built in 1968, do you know what I mean? And then my Lego flowers. I used to have real flowers in my room all the time, but I felt like they were quite hard to keep. I think it's just me being a little bit lazy and not having, not wanting to change them every couple of days. I think they look really cool. And I love Lego, so yeah, I'm very content with these. They do the job, but I'd like to get some flowers when I move out into my own place. I'd love to get like flowers on the kitchen table, something like that. I think it'd be really sweet. Now, this is uh, my wardrobe. It's a clothing rail. This is from Amazon. It was like 20 quid. A little bit rocky. I don't do this because I'm oh, scared it will fall over. So I just leave it be. And it does the job. So I keep like my coats, shirts and things like that. And it works perfectly. I've had this for a while now. Wouldn't change it. Does the job really nice. Suits my bedroom really nicely. And it w works well with this slanted ceiling, which I think is really nice. It's the perfect height. Keep my shoes down below. But I do want to investigate getting a separate shoe rack so I can clear up some space down here and put some shoe boxes down there maybe because they're all stacked up behind my mirror at the moment. And then obviously I keep my bags on this corner out the way so it doesn't look too cluttered and I keep a couple of bags on the back of my door as well. And finally onto one of my favorite parts about my room, my bedside table. The other side is my girlfriend's. This is mine. On here, I've got a cup of tea, which I actually forgot I had, so that's banging. Love a cup of tea. Always have got a candle on the go. Fellas, if you don't have a candle in your bedroom, what are you doing? Chuck a candle on. It'll make the whole place smell nice. Gives it a nice, vibesy, chill. <sighs> See what I'm saying? It's lovely. I have minimum two candles on at all times, plus incense. And my room smells incredible. So, you know, who's the real winner? Me. I also got this plant. When I just came back from Nottingham, I don't know what it is. I completely forgot the name, but I think the pot is really cute. <laughs> and I think it suits my bedside table really nicely. I used to have the big tree over here, but I feel like it blocked a lot of this space behind it, which was kind of good because it filtered out some of the stuff in the corner, but it just gave me no room on my bedside table. This lamp is from Urban Outfitters, actually. Around £30 it was, which I think is pretty good. I mean, it's a really, really nice lamp. Nice warm lighting, which I like. I don't like white light in my bedroom. That is horror. Please, if you guys turn the big light on in your bedroom, look in the mirror. Don't even. Obviously, my glasses so I can wake up, put them on, and see stuff. <laughs> and then my books. I was reading Atomic Habits last time someone asked for what book I was reading. Now I'm reading Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I devoured like three chapters on the train home yesterday pretty quickly. Incredible read. Really, really, really enjoyable so far. And my bed. This is a king size bed, I believe, and it's on a Ikea bed frame with just some standard white sheets. That's the room tour. If you see anything you like and you want to know the name of it, where I got it from, how much it costs, please do drop a comment down below. If I've missed something, I will do my best to try and remember where I got it from or I'll just ask mum because she has a really good memory when it comes to this stuff. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's been a fun one to film. I love showing off my room. I'm really lucky to have this space, I realise. If you are wondering why my room is so big, I'm in the loft of a bungalow. That's why. So all of this is like roof and it used to be two bedrooms, which we knocked through. So yeah, that's why I've got a big room. And I think it's amazing. I'm so lucky to have it. As I said, if you want to know where anything's from, please do not hesitate to drop a comment in. I will do my research and find out and make sure I tell you guys in the comments. That's all for this week. Thank you very much for watching. We've got some exciting stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I will see you next weekend. What time? What time? Go say it. 8 p.m. Sunday. 8 p.m. Every week. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.